what's up ladies welcome back to my channel today the company i will be working with is Kariya. i hope i'm saying this right Kariya hair um this is the box and these are all the goodies i got sent some wig clips some cute 3d mink lashes of course a wig cap and this cute little silk or satin head scarf and then this is the information for the wig that comes on the barcode it is um you know it has a skew number and everything this is the hair this is their 13 by 4 honey blonde highlight ombre curly wig it is 150 density and 24 inches um it did come pre-plugged all i had to do was bleach the knots i went ahead and sewed in my elastic band and now we jumping right into the review honey i love this hair it was giving me spice girl diana ross vibes i was feeling it now i'm gonna go ahead and cut off my excess lace with um an eyebrow razor like so i try my best to get that in in camera y'all i was struggling a little bit but y'all know those of you who follow me you know what the deal is um and i wanted to show you guys this is what the lace is looking like already out of the pack um like i said i didn't do anything but just bleach the knots but i did um it did already come with the hair pre-colored and the knots were already bleached i figured because the hair was pre-colored but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the other side like so and then I'm going to show you guys what the lace looks like before we get ready to lay it down with our even lace spray it's definitely giving scalp I love it I love it I love it tell me otherwise <laughs> you can't but next I'm going to take a baby wipe and just clean off the perimeter of my hairline you want to get any makeup or any dirt or anything on your skin off and then I'm going to go in with my even lace spray I'm going to do one thin layer using my blow dryer until it's to like a tacky substance and then we're going to adhere this lace down like so I am going to use my blow dryer on the middle setting so it's like a medium heat and then a medium uh, blow dryer setting so it's not blowing super hard either because I don't want it to dry too fast um, and like I said I just blow that too it's like a tacky substance or tech tacky texture and then we're going to gently lay the lace down don't be in a rush to press it in or anything like that just gently place it on top and then just um, lightly press it in with your fingers i find that with using um lace spray or any type of adhesive spray if you are uh, hurry up and press it down you can make the adhesive spray stick onto the hair and then it'll make the hair all gunky and have product on it and that's not what we want so as you guys can see i'm just taking my time i went from one ear tab or sideburn side to the other um and i did my middle first and then i'm going to go back in with the even lace spray again but this time i'm going to take my rat tail comb and i will be spraying my rat tail comb directly on the tail of it and i'm going to show you guys spray that little metal part i'm going to spray that and then i'm going to take that that has the adhesive spray and just gently rub it on the edge of the lace where i see it's not fully adhered down and i'm going to go in with my blow dryer and blow all of that down just to make sure everything's laid and then we're going to pull out our baby hair and get ready to melt this lace with an elastic band and a wrap strip i am going to pop this maybelline fit me powder into my lace just to make sure everything is blended um it was giving me scalp before but y'all know me i'm a little perfectionist and this is a full 13 by 4 unit so i wanted to show you guys that you can do a full middle part you can do side parts on either side like so not really so much a deep deep part but you can do a side part if you wanted now i'm going to just go ahead and pull out my baby hairs starting with my little ear tabs i have my little temple sections already sectioned off um and clipped together with a uh clip just so they're out 
out of the way and then I'm just going to take my little wax stick and put that on the front of the hairline and then we're going to go in with our hot comb and lay everything flat I do want to do a half up half down style so you want to get it as flat as possible so it don't look like no helmet sitting on top of your head sis now um using this hot comb be careful because you can burn yourself i say this all the time i have a burn mark that's covering up right now under that makeup because i was trying to move too fast with a hot comb okay take your time um this video is sped up just for video purposes but um if i kept it in real time real life time um i was going slow baby i was taking my time all right because i do not want to burn myself especially them ears them ears girl they're gonna be hurting okay so take your time um don't rush with your hot comb don't rush this install period um and i also like to go in and hot comb my baby hairs just so they're laying real flat this right here i feel like is like my one of my little secret hidden secrets or whatever to give me a bomb install you can do this yourself just be careful be careful be careful y'all you can really burn yourself like this like make sure that you have the hair kind of pulled up at an angle it's not laying straight on your face when you go to hot comb it and you'll be all right now i'm going to go in with some nairobi set and foam just to lay all of that down this is kind of going to melt the lace or where the baby hairs are it's going to melt or lay those down and then after that i'm going to put on a wrap strip and an elastic band and let that sit and we're going to define this curl pattern a little bit and then finish up this look Okay, since we are doing a half up, half down, I wanted to show you guys that the best way for me to gather how much hair I want to have for my half up, half down, I directly go where the back of the frontal ends and the front of the cap begins, where the tracks meet the lace, and I just separate those two completely, going from ear to ear on both sides. Um, if you have, and some frontals are made differently, if it's a full 13 by frontal, it's going to go just straight across from ear to ear, but there are the those little T part looking wigs or T kind of T shaped lace wigs and this one obviously you can tell it had more parting space in the middle than on the sides which is fine um, you just want to gather all that hair up and then I'm going to um, put that in a little messy bun just to separate the back from the front and once that's done, I'm gonna go in with my water bottle just to define my curl pattern just a little bit. I didn't wanna get it completely soaking wet, so I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to feather, finger comb, not feather, finger comb my hair um, and make it just more defined. Just wake it up a little bit. Cause it was already big and poofy, which is what I wanted, but I just wanted you to be able to see the curls a little bit so it's not super frizzy. And um, as you guys can see, all I'm doing is just running my fingers through the hair while just spraying a little bit of water on it, and it's giving, okay? Now, I'm going to go back in with my hot comb one more time to run over the front of the hairline before we actually tie it down with a hair bow. Um, make sure you take your time. Don't burn yourself, y'all. Like I said, do not burn yourself. But that hot comb is your best friend, baby, okay? Okay. And I'm going to just take my little black hair tie and I'm going to pull this as tight as I can. I do have my elastic band still on so you don't really have to worry about you pulling your frontal up or anything like that. So um, make sure you get your parting right or your little your ponytail right you don't want it crooked or off to the side or anything like that and you want to try to get it as flat as possible if you need to you can go in and pin the hair down with some bobby hairs like so you know you don't it ain't nothing but um once you get your bun or your ponytail you want to pull out a little piece in the back and that is going to be my little hair tie cover a little bit so i can cover up my hair bow um, and I just wrap this around all the way into the end and then I'm going to take a little bit of got to be glued lace spray and spray that on the hair and use my blow dryer to dry it just to make sure it's going to stay intact and hold down. 
as you guys can see and I didn't use a whole bunch I just used a little bit like two or three sprays and then like I said I just moved the hair with my fingers while using the blow dryer at the same time just kind of rolling it in a um, clockwise motion and now I'm gonna go in with my Kaposi mini straightener and I'm going to curl all my baby hairs upwards like so and once that's done we're going to go in with some eco style and gel um, eco style gel and I don't know which kind this is I think that's the argan oil or olive oil one either either gel you want to use will work um, but and y'all I try to get this in camera focus in camera but I was busy trying to make sure I actually did my baby hairs right but you get the idea I'm just gonna do two little simple swoops by my temple area and then I'm gonna go in and do my sideburns and then we will put a little bit of mousse on the hair just to seal in that water that I put on top and that will be the completed look And before we wrap this video up, I just want to go ahead and put some bigger roll mousse on my ponytail just because it was looking a little frizzy and this helps get or maintain that frizz and turn it into, you know, just define the curl a little bit better so it looks more, I guess, you know, natural to me or looks better to me. To each his own. You don't have to do that step, but I do. But once that is done, this is the finished look, y'all. Again, this is Kyra hair. This is their 13 by 4 honey blonde ombre curly lace wig. It did come in 24 inches and 150, 150 or 180 density. I can't remember at this moment. But y'all, this hair is giving. Okay, I love it. And it was super full. Um, you could not see through the hair. It was not thin at all. You couldn't see any tracks. It was full all the way from the root to the tip, baby. I loved it. And they did do a, the custom color highlights all throughout the wig. So it was definitely given. But if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Y'all comment, um, what kind of emoji could we do? Y'all comment a ginger or a orange heart emoji if you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.